All right, welcome back to To The T Sports Talk Podcast. We are here at the March Madness One Day event presented by Amateur Sports Club. Uh, we have one of the coaches with us right now. Yep. yep. Um, and we are going to get right into it. All right, again, welcome back. As CJ said, I'm Pharrell Thomas, one half of Two to T Sports. And I'm CJ Thomas. All right, and listen. We've been here all day since this morning, about 10 o'clock, and we watched a lot of teams come and play. But listen, I was especially hyped about this game after seeing this coach coach with so much passion. Like... I've been doing it for 23 years, Coach, and I've, I just retired my last season of high school basketball, and you coach like I used to coach right there. Like, like I love it, like with passion and, and conviction, and the team can hear you, and your voice was being heard. So I'm going to get into, uh, we have Coach Killingworth, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, it's Women's History Month. All right. All right, it's March. It's March Madness. Okay. We have the SEC Women's Tournament here in town. Uh, and you are a female coach coaching young ladies. Tell us a little bit about you and how long you've been coaching basketball. Wow. Um, the ladies call me Coach K. Coach K. I, yeah. I love it. I, I love, love it. I love Coach it. K. Not Coach K himself, <laughs> but I, I, I rock with that with you. All right, yes, Coach, Coach K. K. Um, I've been coaching for 10 plus years. Okay. Um, I was uh, at Hillcrest for a little bit. And then I went to Carolina as assistant girls varsity coach. Okay. And then I've been at Greenville Middle for four years. Oh, really? So Coaching yes, there? I am. I am at Greenville Middle oh. as the basketball coach okay, for well, three years. CJ, I was volleyball and basketball. CJ okay. played there, won yep. the championship there, Greenville so, County yes. Championship. Okay. So yes, so I'm at Greenville Middle. Um, I have been running this AAU organization for four years on the girls side. Our boys side has been around for. Ooh, probably about 10 plus years. Okay, what's um, the name of your organization? One SC Elite. One SC Elite. Um, I've that seen is the, under I've... Derek Drummond, oh, okay, Joe yeah. Owens, yeah, and Ron yeah. Bruton. Yeah. Those guys, they yeah. run that side. We had I Derek run the girl side. We had Derek in this family, actually. You did. Family. You did. Uh, yes, yeah, you did. Oh, no, Not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. And so um, they brought me on board um, four years ago. Would have been five, but COVID shut us down that one year. Okay. Yeah. And so we have been growing in leaps and bounds. Wow. Um, this team that you just saw, we only did. We, we didn't. We wait to after high school season has stopped okay. and respect the aspect of kids being in their school season of basketball gotcha. before we do our evaluations and everything like that. We don't do tryouts. We do evaluations. Okay. Um, so if a girl got passion, the work ethic, I got the coaches that's going to help grow them and develop them. Okay. So we don't cut anybody. Well, um, like so that. we allow them to grow in their aspect and what they want to do in their element. Um, but... Uh, so my girls only didn't practice twice. Twice. Yes, twice. twice. And, and won these by are new about people. What, 20? No, we lost. We actually lost. Y'all lost? Yeah, DYB. They won. Okay, okay. But yes, won. Okay. no, we lost. But that's okay. I don't. Um, a win is not always by the scoreboard. Okay. A win is do I see growth? Do I see development? Right. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking for. Hundred percent. And 100%. so. Um, so, yes, that's what we've been doing. I've been in this for a while. We grew to six teams this year, over 70-plus girls. Um, wow. It was five teams last year. Um, so every year we have grown at least by one team. Could have had the opportunity of doing seven teams, but we put it down to six. So um, we combined my seventh and eighth grade team. And that's just seven teams with just girls? All girls. That's I just good. run the girls' side. That's good because, I mean, it's hard. I feel like it's hard to get girls to play basketball. And it to is. have seven teams of girls, I, I think that's that's good. Yes. I think yes. that's pretty good. Yes. yes. And, and so that's why it's so important. We, we've been talking to girls and and some guys, a couple of men coaches, and, and just the women. I think it's good to see a female, okay? Last week was black. I mean, last month was black history month. So a black female, okay? <laughs> And coaching, we see the likes of Don Staley. Right. Um, if you watch the SEC, some of the coaches there, uh, there's a lot of women of color now. It is. Uh, coaching these top tier programs. Exactly. And and, and so, just for the, the the girls at this stage in their growth and development, mm -hmm. to see someone like you with some passion, because watching you coach tells me it's not just 
on the sidelines here, that's how you are as a person, right? And sure it's is. like you're putting your heart and soul into what you're doing. And those kids are going to appreciate that. Some of them may not be D1 players, may not exactly. be D2 players, exactly. but they're going to be people, right? They're going to exactly. be young ladies, right? Exactly. And to see that work ethic that you're putting into them is definitely quite evident. And well, I, I, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. So very much. Yeah. And that's what we pride ourselves on and try to strive for. Because the first thing we tell our uh, players is that you're a student athlete. Yeah. And outside of being a student athlete, we try to, I tell people that this is a ministry. Yeah, yeah. This is not just about basketball. Life is more than basketball. Yeah. So we are trying to impart in them self-respect, self-value, confidence, self-esteem, and those important values. Because if they can have that, you can expect that on the court as well. Yeah. Because they're going to be confident in what they already know and Absolutely. what they're doing. Absolutely. So, yes, that's what we pride ourselves on. I'm, I'm excited to say that I even have... Uh, my ninth grade coach is a um, African American. My um, fifth grade coach also as well. Yeah. So, but I got others that are not. I also have some Caucasian males. I have. Yeah. Um, all, we are a mixed uh, uh, organization. So mm -hmm. we bring everybody in. We don't care about your race, color, anything like that. We just welcome you in, and we embody the aspect of family. It's good yeah. stuff. Good oh, stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Good plug in there. Good stuff, Derek Drummond and Ron Bruton and those who are. Uh, part of this organization, what you're doing for boys and girls. Okay, and Coach, thank you for what you're doing. We're going to talk to one of your players. Yes, okay. I got Camille White that's going to come. All right, all right. We're looking forward to talking to Camille. Coach, again, thank you for what you're doing. Thank, thank you for you. dropping in thank and talking you. to thank Tuna you. T Sports. We appreciate you. Best of luck to you rest of the season. Appreciate it. All thank right. you so very much. Yeah, all right, bye-bye.